Hello, this is Chiak. We are back again with another set of Nancy Drew, Legend of the Crystal Skull. You. No, you. Let me have a... I don't imagine I can grab two at a time. Probably not. Okay. Okay, so uh where is That would, I assume that's a police officer. Milo Research and Technology, dear Dr. Boulet, I have completed my review of the data gleaned from the tests I ran last Tuesday on the crystal line replica of the human skull, which you and Miss Amanda brought in. What follows is a simple answer regarding its authenticity authenticity which the two of you have requested. My analysis show that the skull, while made of remarkably, remarkably pure crystal, was carved using modern instruments. In layman terms, the skull is a fake. Again, thank you for allowing Milo Research and Technology to serve you. Ooh. So the skull's a fake. Uh, we have more. Probably the optometrist will get us the an, an eye. But just wanted to check with Henry. Nothing there. That was a lot quicker. Can I grab two? Fine. I'm just saying, we can save a lot of time. Oh, whoops. Back in. Turn this way. I'm going to do the clown first and then I'm going to do the eye doctor. Oop. Because I'm curious of what he's going to bring me. If he'll bring me anything, I'm assuming he will. <gasps> Nothing. Damn it. Okay. Well, anyway, let's get the eye doctor and get another eye. What happened? So disappointed. I was really hoping the clown would bring me something. Well, oh my God, why am I having such a hard time with this one? Ouch! 
Okay, I need a... Okay, why is it this one? I like I can barely. Damn, my hands are getting tired right now. Because before I was able to get them in like one sweep. This one, it's like there's no way for me to back out either. So I have to, I have to do this. Oh my god, my mouse, please. No. You're really making me work for this. Oh my god, my arm is getting tired. Guys, please just bunch up for me. Ow! Okay. We have to go home? Why? I run into some wasps, stung me on every part of my body except my. Ugh, nope, got me there too. We have to cut our weekend short on account of wasps? I'll explain later, okay? Right now, it kind of hurts to talk. I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but Nancy, you really need to be more careful. No, oh, duh. I don't know why that time it was just... I don't know if maybe my hand was just getting too tired, but... There we go. Like, literally, since I lost control right in the beginning, <laughs> suddenly it's like, nope, you will not regain this back. <laughs> okay, time to see Iggy the Eye Doctor. Never be giving me something this time, Iggy. Okay. Hi. Excuse me. Boop. <laughs> oh my god, I keep missing. And then... There we go. Yeah. So, was it four more to go? All right. I wonder if we can call Hotchkiss about the. Who is it? Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Do you know of any relationship between the Whisperer and a crew in New Orleans called the Jolly Rogers? A crew named after the skull and crossbones flag flown by European and American pirates? How so very colorful! Yo ho ho! Why do you ask? The man who called you about the Whisperer, Bruno Bollet, he was a member of the Jolly Rogers. I just thought maybe one had something to do with the other. Had the Whisperer fallen into the hands of pirates, I promise you my research would have turned up that fact. But it didn't. Therefore, no relationship. Coincidence strikes again. That's it for now. Good luck to you, dear. Oh, the authenticator. I didn't see this. Totally missed the number on the sheet. Yeah? Is this Milo Research and Technology? This is Chad, Milo. Service forwarded your call to myself. What do you want? Are you all right? I'm at the gym. On the treadmill. 
It's called multitasking. Well, about the letter you sent to Dr. Boulay, you know, where you told him the skull was a fake? I was just wondering... I never told him that. Never told him what? I told him that skull was authentic. No, you said in the letter the skull was carved using modern instruments. I said all the tests I ran proved the skull had been hand-carved and hand-polished. Probably took decades to make. But the letter Dr. Bollet got said just the opposite. Then the letter he got must not have been the letter that I wrote. Are you saying the crystal skull is real? Hey, I'm not saying it's magic or anything. I'm just saying it wasn't made using 19th century, 20th century, or 21st century technology. Did you carbon date it to see how old it was? The thing was pure quartz. No carbon in quartz. No carbon, no carbon dating. Hey, look, I'm gonna hang up now. If I try to talk anymore, I'm gonna pass out. Just one more question. Did you send that letter saying the skull was authentic to anyone else? No, just Dr. Bollet. I heard he died recently. Good thing I build him up front. Yeah, well, thanks for your help. No problem. Okay, so... It's possible someone else knew. Do we have the letter? So someone possibly faked the letter. Okay, the question now is, what do I do? Like, there's literally nothing else I can do that I'm aware of. Let's see, maybe we can talk to Henry now. And uh, Renee as well. Yes? I'll check back with you later. Awesome. I still got this uh skeleton arm in my <laughs> in my hand in Na oh, Nancy. Yeah. Oh there I go. I think I found the letter that Dr. Bollet was reading when he had his fatal heart attack. Iggy the iguana had taken it. Apparently Dr. Bollet did have a crystal skull and believed possessing it would make him immortal. So we had it tested, and the lab sent him its findings in this letter. Read the second paragraph. My analysis showed that the skull, while made of remarkably pure crystal, was carved using modern instruments. In layman's terms, the skull is a fake. My guess is Dr. Bollet believed in the skull so completely that when he read it was a fake, he was totally devastated, and his heart just stopped. But what I don't quite understand is, why did you tell me you didn't know about the crystal skull when this letter indicates you did? All right. Dr. Bollet told me about the skull. As you said, he believed with all his might owning that skull was the reason he was still going strong at 95. I lied to you because, well, for one thing, Dr. Bollet swore me to secrecy. And for another, he kept the skull hidden. And up until just this minute, I wanted to be the one who found it. What made Dr. Bollet decide to have the skull authenticated? Getting the skull tested was my idea. When Dr. Bollet told me about it, I was skeptical and that troubled him. So I helped him find a private laboratory where we could take it, so any and all doubts would be dispelled once and for all. I certainly did not anticipate that the truth would result in his keeling over and dying like that. Well, now that I too know that the skulls are fake, I can stop fretting over its whereabouts. In fact, I should probably thank you and Iggy for setting me straight. I'd better get going. Come see me anytime. Okay. So what is there left to do? I feel like... Yeah, seriously, what is there left to do? Clock is done. Busy signal. Let's try calling Ned. Bolt of lightning must have taken out her phone or something. <laughs> Taking out her phone? If it took out her phone, it probably took her out. Lightning's not that selective. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. 
Hey, Ned. What's going on? Get this. Bruno had a pet iguana that he liked to dress up in little costumes. Say what? I kid you not. I found little outfits for Iggy. That's the iguana's name, Iggy, in Bruno's study. He could dress him up like a mailman, an optometrist, or a pirate. Now I've heard everything. No, you haven't. Iggy also hides things in the vents, and depending on what outfit he's wearing, he'll go into the vent and bring out different stuff. You have got to be joking. Like, I dressed him up as an optometrist, and he brought me out a glass eye. Poor Henry. If weirdness is genetic, it doesn't stand a chance. I'm pretty sure a letter caused Bruno Bollet to have that heart attack. A letter? Apparently, Bruno and Rene had recently taken the crystal skull to a lab to see if it was authentic. The lab guy mailed Bruno a letter summarizing his test results, which showed the skull was a fake. And when Bruno read it, I think the shock was just too much for him. So much for his being murdered. Actually, that's not quite true. When I called the lab guy, he said that in his letter, he told Bruno the skull was authentic. You mean someone faked the letter that said the skull was a fake? Yep, which means Bruno more or less did die at someone else's hand. Good grief. Have you told anyone? No, and I don't think I'm going to. For one thing, I don't want to tip my hand. For another thing, I don't want anyone thinking that skull is the real deal after all. Which apparently it is. The only thing those lab tests prove is that the skull is at least 300 years old. Not that it has magical powers or anything. But still, finding it would be pretty cool. That's it for now. Call again, okay? Soon. Okay, bye. See ya. So, what do I do now? What is in my inventory? If this key we use, oh yeah, we have the weird, we have this, which I still don't know what this is for. Though, now that I'm thinking about it, it probably involves lightning somehow. And then we have this, also I don't know what this is for. And then we have the skeleton thing. Okay, so I don't think we'll be talking to Bess anytime soon. Okay, I think I need to... Like... This is me being desperate <laughs> as I try to figure out what in the world I'm supposed to be using on stuff. Yeah, I'm really lost. I don't... So I have four more, four or five more eyeballs to get. Um, Is there anything in the crypt that this could be used on? I think it's this key, right? No, I don't see anything. Just for the hell of it. <laughs>
Oh. It can actually attack me. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, don't feed the alligator. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I'm really kind of, I'm really lost on what I'm supposed to be doing now. Because every puzzle that I'm aware of is done. Hello again. I'd better get going. Take care, hon. Hmm. Sorry, I'm literally trying to think what else is there to do. I can't talk to Henry, I don't think. Yes. I'm going to keep looking around. Whatever. I'm pretty sure I've done everything in the library. So the question for me is, where are these other glass eyes? I got the three from there. This is done and over with. I mean, all that's left. I'm gonna check Renee's room. Who can I call? I mean, I doubt that's gonna happen. It... Cab company, maybe? This is Dr. Gilbert Buford's answering service. How may I help you? Mm, never mind. Are we going to check on Bess, maybe? Okay, so we are stuck here for sure, for sure. Oh. Okay. Am I supposed to be doing something with this doll? Would you like an arm? What am I missing here? I 
think I might need to actually look look something up because unless there's something in the graveyard itself anything here spider web there what am I missing This is done with. So we have four eyes left. So obviously, okay, let's see. Let's see if I can find out what else is there to do in the house. Okay, I'm going to check the secret room. Interpret this handwritten book. Octopus cadence, ignore that. Ski ball game, jack in the box. Creepy dummy. Paper inside dummy. Union's cradle. Just want to double check that there's nothing else to the ski ball. Whoopsies. Shoot. Okay. Um, so besides the this eye thing here, which clearly we're not even there yet, can't do anything with that. Is anything in Renee's room am I missing? How to get in, symbols on wall, paper and candy. What should I do with all this stuff on the dresser? Did I already grab that? Where did that doll come from? What? Was it, wait, was the doll not there? Hmm. Apparently there's a scary moment and I didn't see it. Okay, so nothing else in Renee's room. Okay. Trophy, card catalog, teeth, books are back, keychain. How can I find out about the skeleton man? Tracy's found a room done. Coffee table done. Is there anything else to do? Did I get the glass eye? Apparently there's a glass eye in the nightstand, but... I must have because I can't click here anymore. Okay, so I'm done with the secret room. Man, what the hell do I do now? Anything in the garden? Wasp, spider, buzzard statues, done with that. Am I supposed to do something with the fireflies? This is me being really desperate for something because I'm... Okay, I already did that. Just talking about getting the getting the the thing I got. Okay, and so apparently those plants you don't need to do anything with them. So, in the cemetery. Can't I find my way around? Okay, so I'm literally, I'm just missing eyes.
Okay. There's 25 of them. They are all over the place in the house, in the garden, in the cemetery, and there are 25 all together. You need to find them all to win the game. If you see one, you can't get at it. Look for hints for that specific puzzle. Uh, if on the other hand you're missing and you don't know where they are, go to the eye cabinet. Okay, because we're missing a whole bunch starting from uh, the ladder. So either they're actually they're around and I just didn't click on it. Okay, so... 5, 10, 15, 20. Where is 20? It's in the buzzards? Do each of the buzzards have their own eye? Oh, whoops. Is that what I'm supposed to do with the key? I thought I tried the key. Maybe I didn't try the key properly. Okay, so we got the key. Or maybe we give the key to, we put it in their hands or something. Is this it? No. Oh. Oh, shoot. Here we go. I thought I did that. Did I not do that? Okay, so each of these probably have a... Maybe I accidentally clicked the wrong device I was supposed to be using. Okay, so this is endgame stuff, basically. Or as close to endgame as we can get. Alright. Ugh, I keep trying to click it. Okay, this is it. We have all the eyes. Hmm. So yeah, the only thing I can think of is that I must have completely used the wrong object when I, I thought I was using the key when in fact I was using that metal antenna. Which, why do we even have that still? Oh, this way? Oh, what is this? Okay, uh, where's her book?